Sterling. You're listening to The Zero Hour. Rest your eyes. Exercise your imagination. Today, Keith Walker's hilarious tale of death by error. The house that Plumbon built. Starring Shelley Berman. In the Mutual Broadcasting System presentation of... The Zero Hour. Brought to you by the Ford Motor Company and Lazy Boy Recliners. This is the Zero Hour on Mutual Radio. Hello, this is Hugh Downs with a Ford Car Buyers report on a subject that car buyers are giving serious thought to. The real cost of owning a car, which Ford feels involves three considerations. What you pay for it, how much it costs to operate, and trade-in value. What about purchase price? Well, Ford believes that the 74 LTD offers car buyers who need and want the six-passenger comfort and quiet ride of a full-size car a real alternative to a big full-size car. The Ford LTD, up to 400 pounds lighter than some medium-priced full-size cars. The LTD is also sticker-priced up to $900 less. And you'll be pleasantly surprised at the luxury and driving peace of mind that the LTD offers. The 1974 LTD is the best-selling car in its price class, evidence that for many people, it's the best solution to owning a full-size car. The well-made Ford. The closer you look, the better we look. The world of fashion is where you'll live for the next half an hour. It's a strange world filled with strange people. None the least of which is our old friend, Inspector Fouché. Join us now as the inspector leads us a merry but bumbling chase through this world of skinny models and fat designers. This way, mademoiselle. It's very kind of you. Mm -hmm. I am pleased that I can. I also could not stand the cigar smoke. Mm -hmm. Ah, voila, 27A. Please. I do not think he's funny, little man. Will you just stare? <laughs> he certainly seems to be enjoying his dream. Look at that mischievous smile. Oh, he is strange. Can we not be sat down? He went to sleep. <laughs> 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 I think his mustache is adorable, don't you? <laughs> Very strange. Oh, uh, please wake me for the approach to Orly. Oui. Libby, I'm so mad. It is nearly time, huh? Oh, oh, thanks, Mimi. Hmm, I feel marvelous. Oh, my heavens, he's still at it. Should we wake him? I think yes. Uh, but why don't you and I will bring some cafe? Oh, what's his name? Monsieur Fouché. Uh, Inspector Fouché, and you are under arrest in the name of the French Republic. <laughs> That's incredible. And look, he's still asleep. Oh, we are very nationalistic, <laughs> no? Uh, sir, wake up. Inspector Fouché, we're almost to Paris. <laughs> you will uh, come with me. We know what to do with you. Uh, oh. Inspector, oh. Are, are you all right? Huh? Oh, excuse me. I must have been dreaming. <laughs> Are you a dream? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, but of course you are. Here, let these sad but wise eyes gaze. Mm. Ooh. Inspector, uh, are you okay? Uh, yes, uh, I don't understand why these seats pop up like that. Voila, <laughs> you have made the enquetant, huh? <laughs> yes, the inspector thinks I'm a dream. Inspector Emer Fouché of the Sorete. A chatam. Oui, but an elegant one, no? Oh, Libby, watch out. When a Frenchman's mustache switches like that, it means he has the sun. You see the angel. Uh, may we have our coffee? Do we? Libby, enjoy your stay in Paris. Thank you. As uh, you stay for a holiday? Uh, no, I've come to write an article. On Henri Clément. Oh, he's the great designer. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, he's a famous man. 
you are with the magazine? Yes, Designers Daily. And you are with the uh, police? We. Oui. You, uh, you see that man across the aisle? Yes. Is he wanted? No, no, no. I just uh, thought you might like to see me arrest. <laughs> Inspector, you are pulling my leg. Yes, but that is another matter. <laughs> no, no, for the truth, I must tell you, I have been in exile. Really? Yes. I have been studying the police methods of your country. Where, New York? No, Fitzwilliam. Fitzwilliam? Where is that? New Hampshire. Oh, is it a large city? 1,362 people. I confess it was a punishment. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you have to stay long? Two years. But I served a major murder case, and they have let me return to this wreckage. That's wonderful. I will be up here to never look another purple fish in the eye again. A purple finch? Is that a bird? Oh, yes. It's a state bird of New Hampshire. Ruined my <laughs> oh, we'd better fasten our seatbelts, Inspector. Oh, yes. Uh, do you perhaps need a ride from the airport? That would be nice, uh, Inspector. Uh, no, Shelley. You fastened your seatbelt to mine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, number 10, Rue Saint-Placide. That's odd. I know I was expected. Uh, maybe it's the wrong address. No, it's number 10. Hey, who... Uh, uh, hello? Hello? Uh, anybody home? Ooh, talk about spooky. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, I'll try the drawing room. Oh! Oh! Oh, my. Well, there you are, Mr. Clément. Forgive me for busting in like this, but the front door... Uh, Mr. Clément. Uh, sir, are you all right? Sir, you don't look at all well. Oh! <laughs> This is Jim Backus with news about the most comfortable experience of a lifetime. A lazy boy reclining chair. It's ideal for apartments, living rooms, dens, family rooms. Lazy boy is as beautiful as it is comfortable. Available in any style you can imagine and in hundreds of decorator fabrics and vinyls. Make your favorite room a haven of gracious living. See your lazy boy dealer today. <laughs> Hurry up. He's waiting. <laughs> Run down there. <laughs> Go. Yes, indeed. Certainly, State Farm has been one of the most competitive companies when it comes to rates. State Farm agent Bob Westbrook talks about car insurance value. But I think even more important than rates to most people is the service they know they're buying. With State Farm, you're in a position to get more service from more agents throughout the entire country than any other company in the industry. You're 17, 18. You've graduated from high school. You want to make something of yourself. But you don't have that something to make it with, like money for four years of college. What do you do? Well, you don't need four years of college to get a good job. Today, there's a crying need for technicians in exciting fields like oceanography, electronic data processing, health service, environmental control, forestry, and many others. Technicians earn twice the salary of the average high school graduate. Some even make more than four-year college graduates. All you need is a year or two of technical training. To learn how you can become a technician, send for our free booklet. It's called 25 Technical Careers. Write Careers, Washington, D.C., 20202. If you can't afford four years of college, write Careers, Washington, D.C., 20202. And make something of yourself. Wake up, mademoiselle. Well, what? Oh, who are you? I think you had better explain who you are before the police arrive. Police? That's right. Monsieur Clermont has been kidnapped. 
But he couldn't. I just saw him a few minutes ago. What time is it? Two in the morning. I must insist. Who are you? My, my name is Libby Mann. I've come at the request of Mr. Clement to do a magazine article. Now, who are you, and, and what is this about kidnapped? I am Paul Bouchard. I am an associate of Monsieur Clement. He did not tell me of your coming. Oh, the police. Pardon. Hello? Inspector Fouché, Sorete. Ah, this way, Inspector Fouché. Oh! Is this where you found the note? Inspector! Ah, Mademoiselle Man. How are you? A uh, bent, but the same. You know this woman, Inspector? Oui. And who are you, the butler? No. I am Monsieur Clement's associate, Bouchard. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, he said kidnap, Inspector. Did he tell you? Here is the note they left. Hmm. It does an X to check out. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Here you come. Uh, yes, uh, please do not do that again. It is obstructing justice. Uh, May I sit down? But of course. Oh, oh. So, is this your hat I sat on? No, I believe it is yours, monsieur. Oh, yes, of course. Oh. When did you receive this? It was on the desk when I arrived. Miss Mann was on the floor. You're sure it wasn't the other way around? What? You're seeing if you are on your toes. Hey, Inspector, may I speak with you a minute? Of course. Outside? Uh, Monsieur Bouchard, please wait in the hall. <laughs> what, uh, what is it? Inspector, when I came in tonight, the door was ajar. I, I, I came on in and, and I found Mr. Clement sitting at his desk. Yes? I think he was dead. Oh, well, that cannot be. Why would anyone want to kidnap a dead man? I don't know, but I swear it's the truth. I see. Hmm. Monsieur Bouchard. Yes. Uh, monsieur, I am taking the note. Now, I would advise you not to pay the ransom. But, the Inspector, we must. The full collection is soon due, and Monsieur Clement must be here. I insist. I insist that we must. I see. Have you received instructions as to what to do with the money? Not yet, but the note does say they will contact us. All right. I will post a guard on the house... Tap the telephone, uh, just in case. That is good thinking, Inspector. Oh, thank you. Uh, Mademoiselle, uh, have you a place to stay? No, Monsieur Clément had invited me to stay here while in Paris. Then by all means you must stay. Oh, I couldn't. I insist. He insists. If you insist. I insist. He insists. Oh, all right. I get the point. I'll stay. Good. I will be around tomorrow. And Bouchon, do not leave Paris. I can't. Why not? I live here. Oh, yes. Oh, well, well, good night. I will keep my eye on the house. He's certainly right about that. Why, Mr. Bouchard? No! Because he's in the closet. <laughs> <clears throat> good night again. <laughs> Mademoiselle, is he always like that? I've only known him a short while. But I think so. I think so, too. You probably know all about Ford pickups. How they work like a truck, ride like a car. How they've got Ford's famous twin I-beam front suspension with front disc brake standard. And a choice of an economical 6 or 3 V8s. But maybe you didn't know about Ford's new Super Cab. Super Cab's the only two-door pickup that's roomy enough for a full back seat. I didn't know that. Well, Ford's new Super Cab pickup makes a big difference in capacity to carry people or things. You can do most anything with it. Order Super Cab with an optional bench seat that's five and a half feet wide. That's room enough for a family of six to ride in sedan-like comfort. And the bench seat folds flat to make a load floor. I didn't know that. Or get two facing jump seats. Optional. They fold out of the way for cargo. Or order Super Cab with no rear seats at all. Then you get a full 44 cubic feet of storage space. I didn't know that either. Ford's new Super Cab. It's news even to people who thought they knew all about Ford pickups. See it now at your local Ford dealer. This is Bill Wendell saying, do not pity blind people. Give them your understanding and kindness. 
You can help provide second sight guide dogs for the unsighted by contributing to the Guide Dog Foundation for the Blind. Your help will enable them to travel safely and independently. These blind people can become active members of their community, go to work or school, shop, visit friends and their places of worship with a faithful second sight guide dog at their side. The dog, four weeks of training in its use and care, board and lodging at the Second Side Training Center in Smithtown, Long Island, New York, are provided free of charge for qualified applicants, regardless of race or creed. Now, these services can only be made possible through your generosity. If you know of a blind person who is in need of our services, please have him contact us. And please send your contribution today to Second Sight, Forest Hills, New York. What? Who's there? Oh, Libby, old girl, this mystery is getting to you. What's that? What's oh, terrible? Sounds like someone in pain. Hello? Mr. Bouchard? Sounds like it's coming from the attic. Don't leave any place. Uh, Jack, you can't leave me. What will I do? No one knows the business like you. That's Bouchard. Now, who's he talking to? Uh, what are you doing spying on me? Uh, sorry, I, I just happened to fall in. You were well, didn't you? Shout everything. Shock. Tell me what to do. Mr. Bouchard, who are you talking to? Mr. Clément. Stay away from him. Uh, e e e easy, Bouchard. E easy. Put mm. that chair down. I I'm not going to hurt you. Well, you might uh, shock. It doesn't look as if anything would hurt. Uh, oh, oh, don't do that. I can't stand to see a grown man cry. Dead. I know it is dead. Mademoiselle Mad. That's the first truthful thing you said tonight. Uh, how, how did he die? I did it. I did it. It is my job. Oh, there, there. Now tell Mama Man all about it. Thank you. Merci. I did not mean to. I am so upset. Yes, I can see that. Now tell me, how did Monsieur Clément die? No. Uh, uh, I mean, pass on. We had a terrible argument. It was because of your visit. My visit? Yes. He told me that. Mademoiselle Mann will come to do the story on the Arthur Clement. That is final, Paul. But it is time we shared our secret. I'm tired of always being your junior associate. You will do as I say. The world has come to respect the name of Clement and his design. But they are medicine. Ah, imbecile. I am the brain that makes this house the money. Who? Oh, you steal. They are mine. Mine. The designs are mine. Ah, I am fool. To tell the world good air, what their confidence. Who? Oh, you speak of confidence. It was you who said, Paul, come with me. We will build the greatest fashion reputation together. And we have. Then I want what is due me. I wish you to tell this fashion writer who is responsible. I will not. You cannot speak to the great criminal. Oh. Oh. Oh, my heart. Paul. Oh, my penis. Oh, oh. oh. I will not call for that ruse again. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, here I It's my heart. Paul. Oh. Come on! Jacques, it is real. Jacques, no, don't die. I am sorry. Oh, Paul, forgive me. No, Jacques, you cannot die. Don't look at me like that. Oh, please, Jacques. I would not know what to do without you, Jacques. Jacques. Then it was you who hit me on the head. Oui, forgive me. I panic. Why did you hide him? And why the kidnap note? Because I could not bear to part with him. Besides, all these years, everything has been in Jacques name. I would not get a prank. He has a terrible son who will destroy the house that Clement built. I thought if I sent a ransom note, they would pay me what is rightfully mine. Then I would let Jacques be found in the house. But you must tell the police. It is the only moral thing to do. You truly believe this? I do. But I promise you this. I will write an article for the House of Clément that will preserve the good name of Clément 
and still give you your just reward. Oh, you are a fine woman, Mademoiselle Ben, for an American. Well, we try, Monsieur Bouchard. Are, are you ready? You mean now, tonight? The sooner we do it, the sooner Jacques Clément can go to his final rest. You are right. But, Inspector, why are you bringing me here? Uh, you will see, mon chéri. The host of Clément and Bouchard is proud to present this next election for the new four seasons. Wonderful! And we have you to thank, Mademoiselle Libby. Here, let us go into the office. But how did this uh, happen? Inspector, after you. Inspector? Out here. Uh, sorry, uh, but I was not looking. Inspector, you are always the same. Tell Libby what happened. Uh, Clement's will left everything to Monsieur Bouchard. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. His doctor said that he knew about his art months before we argued. Then you mustn't blame yourself. Thank you. I feel that it was inevitable. But I owe you a great deal. Would you and the inspector toast with me? We'll open the champagne. It is my specialty. <laughs> oh, my eye. Inspector Fouché, your aim is formidable. I want that sinus medicine. Headache tablets? No, sinus medicine. Helps the headache and the pressure. Oh, you mean sign-off. Exactly. Exactly right. When sinus flares up with congestion and pain, insist on sign-off tablets. Sign-off delivers a full dose of pure aspirin plus a sinus drainer. Sign-off helps sinus pain while you drain. Use only as directed. S-I-N-E-O-F-F. -F. Sign-off. Exactly. Sign-off. The sinus medicines in the bright red box. Hi, I'm Jim Backus with news about an exciting sale taking place at your Lazy Boy dealers today. You may now put a famous Lazy Boy reclining chair into your living room at unbelievable savings. The ultimate in beauty and comfort can be yours in the style of your choice to match your favorite decor. Don't just sit, relax, and recline sumptuously in a Lazy Boy. Your choice of quality colors and fabrics. See your Lazy Boy dealer today. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> Hurry up. He's waiting. Yes, he is. I'm Rod Serling. Close your eyes. Exercise your imagination. And join us again on our next presentation of The Zero Hour. The Clement Bill is an original radio drama written by Keith Walker. Shelley Berman was heard as Paul Bouchard. Featured in the cast were Peggy Walton, Luke Krugman, Ben Wright, and Maggie Maluli. Zero Hour, created by J.M. Collis, directed by Don Hills, is produced in Hollywood for the Mutual Broadcasting System by Radio Productions Incorporated. Music is composed and conducted by Stanley D. Hoffman, Rochelle Sherman, associate producer. This has been a presentation of the Mutual Broadcasting System.